Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one week season, man. That's that's it. Got to take it one and zero, uh, one game at a time. Um, thought we did some good things today. Um, I did some bad things today. You know, some stuff to clean up, some some things to learn from. Um, but we'll grow from it. It's all all that matters is surviving and advancing. Um, it doesn't matter how we win, it's if we win. And uh, proud of our guys for playing the way they did. What were they doing to you defensively, Josh? It seemed like the offense fell out of rhythm for good portions of that game. Yeah, I mean, they were they were playing press man. They were spying me. They were doubling stuff. Um, I thought their front did a pretty good job, um, you know, maybe blocking up some of the running lanes. Um, but again, our, our guys found a way, way to win. Our defense stepped up. I'm so proud of our offensive line and our running backs on that last drive. It's, it's not easy to run when they know you're running it in those situations. So to, for Motor to go put his head down, follow the big boys up front, um, go win a game like that. I don't know if we've uh, done that this year. So that was really, really good to see. You took a lot of deep shots. Was that based on just on their coverage, what they were doing? And you thought you had the opportunity there? Yeah, we, we, we definitely had some opportunities. Wanted to take advantage of that. Um, if they wanted to play, you know, no safety high. Um, they played a lot of zero today, which we kind of expected. Uh, I thought we had some good answers, some really good plays, and again, some not so great ones that we got to clean up, and um, that's that's on my shoulders. You guys did a little bit of a lull, kind of in the second quarter, early third. When did you feel like you guys snapped out of it, or was there a moment that you can kind of go back to and say, like, okay, that's when we got back to being ourselves? Uh, I mean, at halftime, just talking to ourselves, settling down, um, you know, just trying to reset and refocus. Um, I mean, the turnovers they, they they hurt us, you know, really let them back in the game. Um, you know, up seventeen, nothing. Uh, with chances, uh, and I give them the ball, you know, two times, and give them a touchdown. So uh, it's just things you can't do, um, and you can't expect to win like that. So some stuff to clean up. You, you got that third down and ten catch from Khalil, Khalil Shakir. Excuse me, he hasn't seen a lot of action this year, but boy, he came up in a big moment there. Yeah, that was that was a big, uh, big momentum shift for us. Um, you know, I know he's a rookie, but we got a lot of faith in him, a lot of trust in him. Uh, to, to make some plays for us, and he's going to continue to do so. Speaking of that faith and that trust, what was it like to have John Brown, BG, Gage, Steph, all those guys out there all at one time? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it felt very comfortable. Um, you saw it. You know, Steph, or it was Cole's first playoff touchdown, I think, in his career. That's what uh, Kevin Kearns just said. So uh, that, was, that was pretty pretty fun um, to, to get the ball back to him, obviously. Bouncing around, uh, bringing them back, and just being able to run some of our old stuff, and he he remembers it and um, is able to run it and execute it. So uh, it's it's good to have vets like that. How much did the interception last year? How much did that kind of play into play? Oh, it's it's huge, and um, you know, it, it, turnover margin, you know, especially in the playoffs, is so big. Um, you know, that, that really helps us out. It bells us out. You know, I can't thank our defense enough for playing the way that they did. And, you know, I didn't put them in some great situations today, and I know that, and they know that, and I got to be better for them. Well, the playoffs can be grueling, but is there any chance, especially if you know if you want to make a long run? Given what you guys have gone through the past couple weeks, but add, you know, an additional element of emotion and feeling like you guys have some pressure off the team, is there any chance that you can get through this? Yeah, I mean, we, we set goals at the beginning of the year. Uh, we've got one goal in mind, and um, that's to win a world championship. and. Uh, to do that, you gotta you gotta win the playoffs. Um, so we're looking forward to our next matchup. I don't know who it's gonna be against, uh, but I know it's here. We're gonna need Bills Mafia in the building, uh, being loud and disruptive. I thought they did a good job tonight and forcing a couple false starts and delayed games. That's that that's such a huge momentum shift for us. Um, when it's fourth and one, you cause a delay of game, and now it's fourth and six, and it can, changes the the complexity of that call. Um, so shout out to to our fans. Yeah, I think with the, um, after you got back in the lead after. Yeah, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's the playoffs. Everybody here is good. Um, you know, every team that we play, it's going to be their biggest game, our biggest game of the season. So um, nothing to hold back. And again, I thought they played pretty good tonight, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Um, they did some things that caused us some problems. So um, hats off to them. Um, but again, proud of our, how our guys played. Yeah, again, um, we understand the, you know, the, the seriousness of the playoffs. Um, it's win or go home. And again, guys just wanting to, to win and, and not hang up the cleats, you know, just yet. You know, we, uh, like I said, we got some goals to accomplish. And um, guys in that locker room love each other. They, they work extremely hard 
to go out there and execute and, and try to accomplish those goals that we set. Yeah, I mean, it's you can't focus on that. Um, the play happened. Um, you got to move on. You know, I think uh, having the leadership, you know, in that offense, whether it be Steph or Mitch or Dion or Roger, just coming up to me and just say, hey, forget it. Like, we got to go. And um, just understand, like, you can't let your last play dictate your next play. So, um, again, got to be better in those situations, but uh, we were able to find a way. What did you think of uh, Tyler Thompson's play today? I thought he – Played pretty well, you know. Our defense is uh, it's pretty dang good. Um, they gave him a shot to win a game, and that's that's all that matters. I know you would prefer it to be a lot less stressful at the end, but is there something to be said about winning close games, especially in the playoffs? Is that a skill that a team can have? Um, I guess so. At the end of the day, that's that's all that matters is winning the football game. Um, it's by a one, it's by a hundred, and again, these are one week seasons from here on out. Everything you got, it's it's uh, like I said, win or go home. Yeah, he, he works his tail off. Um, in practice, he works extremely hard. Um, you know, he's uh, he's been so reliable for us. And again, just giving him some opportunities to make some plays, and he came up with some big ones tonight. You mentioned Khalil and Kair. Also, you mentioned the production from the running game. To get such contributions from rookies in such a big game when necessarily you're not at your best, how big of a boost is that for the team and just an overall confidence boost for those players? Yeah, you know, at this point in the season, they're they're not rookies anymore. You know, they've they've seen enough action. They understand the gist of, of what's going on. And again, I credit our leadership, whether it's in the DB room, our receiver room, our running back room, for you know getting some of those guys ready to play today and um, you know helping us win a football game. Do you ever see Mitch? Do you ever see Mitch that heated? No, I don't. Uh, I, you don't really see that, but uh, I love him. I, I really do. Yeah, I got to got to say hello to him and his family, and um, obviously a, a big old hug. And there's a big line of guys ready to to love up on him. So it was, I mean, blessing blessing come true to see him back in the facility. Thank you guys. Go Bills. Uh, schematically, I wasn't in the right right position, to be honest. Uh, and I knew I messed up, but I can only try and make the best out of out of the situation. And I think my instincts kind of kicked in to to get back uh, where I needed to be. And I just, you know, I, I seen him quickly throw the ball, and I just put my hands up and grabbed it. Yeah, I mean, we uh, we it's, it starts during the week, man, and we uh, we make sure that we play as, as one heartbeat. And uh, when things go wrong, you know, we go as best as we say in the defensive room that, you know, our team is led by our defense. And you know, any any team that has a strong defense, you know, gives himself a chance to to win the ball game. Uh, so you know, we we just told each other, hey, we got to take it, we got to get as many takeaways as possible, and you know, we did a good job. Man, just, just say hey, like you know, you you see ball and you get ball, and uh, but right, man. I'm living right. Got to be living right. Uh, you know, just just for me to be be schematically uh, not in the right position, but um, for me to kind of have a panic mode and get back and make a play. Um, you know, hey, like if you're not in the right position, you better make a play. You better make it, and I made it. Kyrie's just, he's, he's such a student of the game, uh, just the way that he attacked the week, uh, coming in on the 
on our off days catching balls. So him catching that pick is something that he's been waiting on. But uh, he's a, he's a student, man. He he really wants it. His desire to, to be the best that he can be is just is, is next to none. The way he prepared, the way he come in and take care of his body as a rookie, man. Uh, the success he had today is not a surprise. Just the way he you know prepared himself throughout the week and uh, and weeks prior to to be to be in this moment and be ready. So um, definitely proud of him. Trey, what was? Yeah, for him to be in the building, man, it, it brought smiles and happy tears to, to everybody in the building. Um, you know, just to see him walking around healthy, recovering well. Uh, you know, we, we sat next to him uh, all around the facility and just kind of asked him, you know, a couple questions on how he was feeling and all that kind of stuff. And just all we needed, all we needed was to see his face um, and see him walking around. Once we knew he was healthy, you know, we kind of had a weight lifted off our shoulders. But then actually seeing him in person, uh, it was amazing, man. Uh, every every guy on the team just, you know, was so happy to see him. Trey, could you recall that experience? You said previously that you're really affected by the injury. And just being able to see him, was that like a breath of fresh air for you? Oh, for sure. Uh, I got my hug, though. I know that. Uh, but uh, it was good to see him, to see his mom, see his dad. Just, just overfilled with joy, man. Just to see him. See him. We was doing the walkthrough, and he was just sitting down in the, uh, in the end zone by himself with his parents. And uh, before we went out, to do the walkthrough, everybody went over and just talked to him for a minute. And it was just, it was, like Dean said, it was refreshing, man, just to see him, just to see the smile and just to touch him, you know what I mean, just to see what we experienced for the last, uh, last two weeks, man. So it's, it was it was great to see him. It gave us a lot of a lot of juice, too. So uh, that, was, that was a great sight to see. Trey, how do you describe the team's energy after getting to see DeMar yesterday? Oh, I, like I said, I, I think, you know, where I know it lifts our spirits for sure. It gave us a lot of juice. Uh, we were even juiced up for the walkthrough. You know, that's 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 something that we not never juiced up for. But to see him and just to see him walk and just to see him smile, man, it, it was it was it was a great day for us. Uh, I think when you, everything starts up top, and uh, you know, Terry to Brandon to Sean, they're great leaders, um, and you know, I think they get us mentally, physically prepared uh, to to go through trials and, and tribulations, you know, throughout, you know, life, um, and you know, football has a lot to do um, with life and the lessons you learn and all that things, uh, but you know, it's just. We we were able to just come together. I mean, no one is ever in this in this together, you know. Like, um, no matter what, a team, um, you know, a company. It's just when when things are tough, uh, you got to lean on lean on people. You got to, um, you know. No no person is is human, uh, and I'm superhuman. Sorry, and we all need we all need people. Um, so, just the great leadership from uh, from up top and the leaders on our team. Um, you know, it's a it's a domino effect, and we we all trust in one another, and we believe in one another. Uh, you know, just to piggyback off what he said, you know, we got great leaders at the top, uh, great support system around the building. Uh, I mean, we we've been through a lot, you know, as a team this year, just from two storms to Dawson Knox losing his brother, to the to the top shooting, uh, to Josh Allen hurting his elbow, to losing Von Miller, losing Micah. So I mean. It just shows you the resiliency he has as a group. Uh, and it, but it, it takes the whole building, to, not just the players, the support staff, uh, our people that cook us food in the cafeteria. They're so great. They lift us up in the morning, too, with the energy. So I mean, it's not only the players, but you know, it's the support system that we have around the building that you know, just make this thing go. Because it's just not us. We need a lot of support you know, from talking to people to just leaning on each other. I mean, our strength staff is great. Nutrition staff is great. Uh, our training staff is great. So it's just like it's not just the players; it's the whole building, and uh, we we're one big family. So we go through everything together, and we we lift each other up in doing good times and bad times. So. Yeah, our coach, uh, if Coach Butler, if you, if you ever see him on game day, uh, he 
the social strategy well during practice and everything. So uh, it just like 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 Gene said, it starts at the top, man. Our coach is so fiery and he's so competitive, so he breathes that into us. So uh, we know going to the game, uh, Waddle and Hill, those guys are the best in the league, you know. So we gotta match their intensity, and we knew that we were gonna have to go up there and, and face them and make it tough for them, knowing that we're not gonna completely shut them out, just make it extremely tough on them, just land on them, just try to make it make it as tough as, as we can for them. And, uh, Fortunate enough, we were, we were able to get our, our hands on some footballs today and knock them out. Oh, I mean, we winning, so it makes it much better. But uh, like, like I said weeks previous, man, uh, this this is a long journey for me. Uh, still getting back, still rehabbing it, still doing everything I can. To, Stay on top of the, on top of, of the rehab process and getting ready for games and, and practicing my uh, my craft. So uh, it's something that I'm I'm gonna have to attack. This is my new normal now. So hopefully I can continue to do what I'm doing. And the, the training staff has been great. They just guys helping me out and continue to, to rehab my knee to make sure I'm ready for practice, make sure I'm ready for the game. So uh, this is a you know pretty much a two two year thing, and I, I went into it knowing that, but I wanted to attack it with me coming back one year and being who I am. So uh, it's, it's a fun process uh, at the back end. But uh, I mean, I've been doing the best I could. And I've been having help along the way. So those guys have been making it, making it real great for me. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, rather. Mitch, can you remember a time that you've been so fired up on the football field when you had that interaction protecting Josh? Um, no. 
<laughs> but I, I don't know. It's not. It's not make it anything bigger than it was. You know, we talked afterwards. After uh, actually, um, I have a lot of respect for the way he plays. Uh, he's a competitive guy. Um, you know, tempers flare in this game. You know, we had our moment, and then it was mitigated, and we were able to continue playing. And um, yeah, but no, I've never been. When, when you see your quarterback, for lack of a better phrase, in trouble like that, what's the thought process of a offensive lineman? Uh, I mean, in the moment, you you kind of lose consciousness for a little bit. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's your guy, it's your quarterback, right? And that's. Uh, you just want to be there for him, and, and uh, you know it escalated like you saw. But I'm not going to make it too big of a thing. Like I said, we chatted afterwards, and it was more than amicable. You know, it was just, I have admiration for the way he plays, and you know um, the competitive nature he plays at. So, uh, yeah, how does your offense stay positive right. when things weren't going your way there in the middle part of the game? Yeah, he cut you right off. That's right. <laughs> he had to get his question. Right? Yeah. I appreciate. Yeah. Hey, what's your question, bro? How did you guys stay positive in the middle part of the game when the offense wasn't? We just tapped in, into our pro ability just to focus on what we can and control what we can. You know, um, in a playoff game, like we expect it to be an up and down battle. We expect it to, to like to be, you know, elite on elite. So, you know, it's not supposed to be perfect. Like games and like that should honestly be every playoff game. It should be as hard as it's supposed to be, un uncomfortable and uh, an up and down battle. But you know, like for us, like we just have to just focus on ourselves clean up a, a bunch of like li like little things that could turn into big things. But um, the good thing is that we understand what's ahead of us and we understand what we did wrong and what we did right. So we're going to take it, craft, craft it, and make it better. Yeah, and I know it's hard to win in this league, especially in the playoffs. Do you think the feeling is excitement, relief, a little bit of both? I mean, it, that was right to the end. I mean, yeah. what, do you, what do you sense the team's feeling right now? I mean, honestly, man, it's a playoff win, you know? and. Uh, like not to make it bigger than anything, but it's a playoff win. And it's hard to win in the regular season, and it's, and it's extremely hard to win in the postseason. So um, we're taking it as a beautiful play, playoff win. We're leaving the locker room today in this press conference with a W and not an L. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot, it's a, it's a everybody play, play their best ball, you know, and Gabe, is a gamer, you know, and he's a player, and he's a baller. So, you know, hopefully many more to come. Mitch, with some ups and downs today with the offense, just overall, how would you describe how the offense was operating all day? Um, I mean, I think we shot ourselves in the foot a few times, I put our defense in uh, less than advantageous positions, um, put their offense, you know, on our side of the ball. Uh, you know, I think there was moments where we were able to really matriculate down the field, move the ball, um, you know, and then there was moments where we just shot ourselves in the foot. I, I think the biggest thing, like Dion said, is this next week, uh, yes, we did end up with a win, and in this league that's hard, especially in the playoffs, but we know we need to uh, mitigate those mistakes as much as possible. I thought this team did a very good job of not pointing fingers. Mm -hmm. um, when when you know when the stakes are at its highest, it's easy to do that, and the emotions are so high. Uh, it, but that just shows the resiliency of this team, and uh, you know the defense really helped us out a bunch, put some field goals up instead of some touchdowns when they were in the red zone. So um, kudos to them. But for us, it'll just be kind of being uh, real with ourselves individually, but also as a group and a unit, and see what we can do to play a better football game next week as the competition just increases. Do you feel any type of dif difference with this team in how you are all able to band together when things aren't going your way? Well, I think um, a lot of guys, you know, we've, you know, we've, we've got guys who play a lot of football. Um, we've got guys who have played quite a few playoff games now, um, understanding that when the stakes are at its highest that, you know, the emotions can be almost overwhelming at times. And I think guys, it's a great checks and balances. Certain guys like Dion can come to me and see where I'm at. Uh, hopefully, I can do the same thing to him. Uh, and that's just kind of a microcosm of what's going on all around the sidelines. So, um, you know, guys have each other's back. You guys played a lot of football. But we also understand that since we played some football, that 
we really can't probably be doing what we did again today and expect to continue in the playoffs. Hey, um, um, you guys had winning so long to get this one in. How do you feel like third baseman? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> 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 I mean, shoot, uh, we, we actually uh, – Knew exactly like what was coming, and we took that lemon drop or that Shirley Temple and chucked it out the window and said, "Man, we, we don't want no pieces. Go home." <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's it's called a juke route in our offense, um, and you know my whole career I've I've ran a lot of escape routes or whip routes and a lot of drags, so I try to marry them up and um, just gave them a little stop and go. Cool. Your first postseason touchdown. How did that feel? Yes, yeah, it's, it's you know it's about time. It only took me 11 years, so <laughs> I'm just just happy uh, it could come in, in today's game and I could just contribute. Hey, what is right now? You know, it feels great. Uh, you know how important these games are. Um, it's a one and done, you know, around this uh, around this time. So just be able to contribute and help my team win. I mean, especially in these big moments, you know, it's, it's, it's awesome. Dave, could you talk us through the touchdown, the last touchdown, the, what that looked like, cover two? Were they in? Mm -hmm, yeah. Um, yeah, it looked like cover two. I knew I was going to be one-on-one -on -one with the safety. Just had to beat him to the back corner. And now you had to get two down there. Or was that yeah, it was kind of a tightrope. Yeah, I didn't uh, get on 21's toes all the way. I kind of just... Uh, cut it a little early and just, you know, trust it in Josh to put the ball right where it needed to be. You had the one catch where you had to kind of either slide your arm under the ball there mm -hmm. into the field. Were you, I know there's a lot of lobbyists on your behalf to challenge the play, but mm -hmm. were you thinking, I got to slide my arm on the, are you thinking in that instant you got to do that? Yeah, the guys get on me all the time the way I uh, I frame the ball sometimes. And uh, that's a that's a big, uh, I mean, I'm comfortable using it, uh, using that type of way to catch the ball. Uh, so I knew I was going to be able, as long as I can get to it, I knew I'd be able to get my hand underneath and uh, secure the catch. Cole, uh, Josh, uh, you guys almost made a break there. Uh, in about the second quarter, the step wasn't going to beat them. Having been in the room once before and now back again, can you just speak to the other guys stepping up when Greer, they said, all right, go ahead. You guys, you guys have to beat us with Cole and engage and you guys did it. Yeah, that's what we have to do. You know, we got to be there for them and, and – you know, just give Josh easy throws. Um, you know, they're going to try to take Steph away. I mean, he's he's a, a big time player, and you know, he's, he's our number one guy. And you know, if if you're going to give him one on one coverage, he's going to eat you alive. So, um, when it's our chance to take advantage, you know, we got to do so. I think they, I don't know what your perspective is running downfield, but they were going to bring house and whatever the line was. They were going to give up some big plays. Um, yeah, you know, we we knew they that was kind of one of the things that they like to do, and I feel like they did it a lot more early than they did later. Uh, in the second half, they kind of switched it up a little bit, um, and then they got back to it towards the end. But um, you know, that's something that we should be able to take advantage of, and uh, I think we did for the most part today. Cole, just coming back here and being able to make some big contributions today in a playoff game, what has that been like for you emotionally? Man, it's it's been a ride for sure. Um, it's been a tough year for me, just you know, being at home and watching, um, and then you know, coming back and I kind of got to play a little bit the uh, the three games in um, the season, but it wasn't as much as maybe I'd like. Um, so I still feel like I'm kind of getting in the groove, but um, really, I'm just trying to to enjoy it. Um, perspective changes a lot, you know, when you're in that situation. So I'm just happy to be here with guys like Gabe and. Um, I mean, he was he was calling me the whole time I wasn't here, but you know I missed him so much. It's not the same, you know. So it's just good to be back here with the guys, and I'm just you know trying to enjoy every moment. Yeah, what does it mean to have him back? Um, means everything. I mean, I was blessed my rookie year to not only be around Cole, but Smoke, Diggs, Dre, um, you know Isaiah. Those guys early on uh, had great players in front of me to learn from, and you know and Cole was always on my side from day one. Um, 
treated me just like everybody else and always showed love to me and uh, always expressed uh, how good of a football player he thought I was and gave me the confidence to go out there and play. So, you know, I know he's he's my boy for life and I love him. There were Yeah, that's just playoff football, you know, for the most part. And all the all the games that that I've played in in the playoffs, there. I mean, I don't even know if we've had a blowout. So, um, you know, the thing is, you got to keep the foot on the gas. You can't ever get complacent. Um, you got to keep playing consistent. And we were a little inconsistent tonight, and we can't do that going forward.
unable to bring it in. I had to restart my laptop. To get a win, uh, battle. Give credit to the Dolphins. They uh, they battled. They took the ball away. Um, you know they're a tough football team. Uh, give credit to their coaching staff and their first year. They've done a really good job. Um, like I said, good to get a win. Our guys hung in there. Um, a lot we can take out of this game and learn from as we head into next week. Um, so with that, I'll turn over to your questions. I just think overall we got to do a better job of, of at that point, um, you know, up 17. I think it was 17 zip, and we turned the ball over. So um, at the end of the day, you turn the ball over, you die normally a, a pretty quick death, and, and turn the ball over three. I think we had three, three turnovers, one for a score, and uh, and then we had the big punt return in there mixed in there as well. So um, not very good complimentary football. Yeah, I mean that's I understand what you're saying, and that I'm a w very aware of that. And, and you watch, I mean, the game last night. I didn't stay up to watch it all, but um, what the way that game was trending, and then the result, right, the end result. So I give our guys credit, man. They hung in there and, and they figured out a way to get a win, and, and that's what um, I think one of the things they've been really good at this year. And but we definitely uh, have a lot to take out of this game and, and learn from. Sorry, you come up with Yeah, just uh, with what they had out on the field and, and what we were in, I just, I, you know, I wanted us to talk about it a little bit there. I didn't, we had the guy running wide open there a little bit and one, one of them that got thrown down the field, I think it was, and ended up being incomplete. So it wasn't, uh, wasn't ideal. We got to do a better job there. Sean, that, that was hurting them early. Yeah, um, you know, I praise praise them for. I think Cole came back. You know, a lot of them came back after some early plays. I would say, Chris, that didn't go their way and, and, and hit the reset button. Whether it was Cole, Shakir, um, you know, they all contributed down the stretch, which is what we needed. And that's hard to do, and just in terms of the the reset button. But our guys are mentally tough. They've shown that, and when the game doesn't start the way you want it to in terms of an individual player. In the first quarter, hey, how do you how do you get yourself back? And they did that. John, a moment from Tiger again. You know, the yeah, I thought he did some really good really good things in the game. Uh, the interception, the executing the technique, and then the play on the fourth down, uh, the same fourth down that was referenced earlier. Uh, we came back, and he made I think he knocked the pass down um, over there on the sideline. So I thought he played. I thought he did some really good things, and he tackled in the run game also. You mentioned Shakir, that catch on that third and ten. How critical of a catch was that? I mean, for someone who hasn't seen extensive time this season to come up with such a big play in critical time, are you talking about his, his catch? Shakir's catch on the third and ten over the middle yeah. where he kind of his body in the drive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, that was a big catch, and we got a lot of trust in him. He, he's got good hands, he's a good football player, he's off to a good start. And I think he wanted that one you know, from early in the game back. Um, I think that, that first one was before half, maybe there. Um, we could have put some points on the board more than we did. So, um, again, I, the game ebbs and flows, and our guys, um, time after time, have shown their mental mental toughness and the ability to, the ability to reset. You mentioned Tyre and Khalil, and also James with the contributions overall from the rookie class today in the playoffs. Yeah, um, you know, they, they, uh, they, they adjusted. 
Kair, James, you know, we're counting on those guys. And it, it didn't used to be that way when you're a young player. You, most of the young, young players years ago never played or maybe your first round pick played. Um, and so now, you know, the day and age of the NFL is these, these young players are, are going to be counted on to play and contribute. Yeah, and, and maybe you talked here quite a bit about Lane, and he's talked about sort of the journey he's on. But it appears that the last few years he's gotten in the form. I know you have the benefit of having watched the game already on tape, but kind of getting that sense that the old Tredavious in some ways is coming back? Yeah, he's worked hard. He really has. Uh, give credit to our training staff mm -hmm. as well. But his, his mindset appears to be in a totally different space right now. He's confident making plays on the ball. And I would say our secondary made some key plays on the ball. Uh, Taron Johnson is another one that comes to mind, Kyer. Um, and that's important. You've got to be able to make plays on the ball, and we're starting to do that. Hey, Sean, the big thing you went off kind of early. Melvin. Who was it? Uh, I, f I feel like he could have, um, you know, uh, Nate said he could have, um, and so we'll just see where it goes this week here. Uh, it's hard to be aware of the team overall circumstances. Obviously, everyone on this team has been through a lot the last few weeks. I guess, how do they find their strength and keep going when hopefully they're going to run? Yeah, you got to want it. I mean, you got to want it. This is, this is what we work for. This is uh, what you train for in the off season. This is what the regular season's for, is to get yourself you know, into the playoffs. and. And now it's these are these are every game is is uh, you know it's the season, and in, in, in the span of four quarters or overtime. So it's uh, this is what we work so hard for all year. John, you had a series in the fourth quarter where first and second down they're looking to sweep verticals to Gabe. Uh, was that uh, an issue of like of the matchup and wanting to go there, or what did you think about that particular sequence? There? Yeah, I'm, you know, just I'm, I'm sure Doris will want that one back. Didn't feel great about that one. Um, just in terms of the efficiency overall there. Um, so, you know, just again, that's one of the areas we can learn from. So you guys have been through overall the season of such a rough week. Have you seen it kind of galvanize the group and, and help them in, in moments of adversity like this? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we have a, a group of guys that they love to compete. I think that's uh, the start of it. And, um, you know, we've just we've been through games before like this that have ebbed and flowed. That's the really the model in the NFL. I mean, again, you met, uh, mentioned the game last night. And so games are going to be close. And, and you've got to be able to be at your best when they are close. And and uh, then we continue forward. How much of Kyrie's success in this game is a product of the way that he's worked while you've been kind of waiting for that opportunity? Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's there's two ways to handle that. You can get your, you know, kind of get Put your chin in the in your chest and mope around, or you can do something about it. And and uh, and I think Kyrie really handled that well through the body of the season when he wasn't getting the maybe the reps he wanted to get. And um, he stayed true to being a team guy. And it's a test of your character at the end of the day. And your teammates are watching. And, and uh, I thought he handled it well. And now he's getting a chance to play. And and when you do play, as someone's talking about young players, when you get your opportunity, you got to be ready to go. How important was it? Yeah, that was huge. Uh, I think they I think they had one or maybe one, maybe two. Um, so just overall, good job by the secondary there, keeping them in check best we could. I mean, they're you know they're really good, really fast. Yeah, it was great uh, having him. He came to walk through uh, yesterday, uh, along with his along with his parents and his and his little brother, which was great to see him. And um, word traveled fast because by the end of walk through, everyone had gotten down there to, to say hello. And he was trying to, you know, being the team guy that he is, trying to stay under the radar. And he was kind of all the way down the one the one end zone there. And um, uh, but yeah, good to see him back in the building, and and uh, good to have his parents there as well. John, what did you think of the performance of Dawson Knox? This was uh, five straight games for touchdown reception. In the last three years, he scored the first touchdown in the playoffs. These guys. Yeah, he continues to uh, continues to play at a high level, and uh, I know he wants that one back from from the middle part of the game there, and um, he'll make those going forward. Just have a lot of confidence in Dawson. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you,